RSI Power Zone Trading Strategy. With this strategy, you can beat Wall Street on returns, compound annual growth rate, exposure, drawdown, on everything. And it's extremely simple with an exposure of 26% only per year. If you don't make money with this strategy, I don't know what, how you're going to make money. So let's jump in. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and you're watching Stat Oasis channel where we discuss investing, algorithmic trading, finance, and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily videos that I post on this channel. Also, if you are getting any value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you smash the like button, share the video with others so I can push the message of investing out to the world and we help Google to push the video to other traders. So when you see the title of this video, you might think, uh, you know, it's a trick uh, or it's a clickbait, but really this strategy has been working for the past 31 years and it has an excellent track record over uh, bull markets and three major crashes and multiple, multiple 10% crashes, but it's still grinding out, making money, with as little exposure as possible and at as little drawdown as possible, beating the S&P by miles. I have to preface though that this strategy is not my invention, although I did some addition to it. <laughs> but really it's based on Larry Connor's research, which I highly admire as they publish a lot of quantifiable research, which I love. Uh, I just added a simple filter to it and that's it but it's the strategy on its own without any filters it's doable so we'll go through the steps anyway okay so we are in strategy quant x and as probably you guessed it it's the spy <laughs> as this is my favorite uh, mirror version instrument i'm using all the data available so since uh, 93 uh, february 93 till uh, today's date and the money management we're using stock size by price meaning we'll use the whole account per trade because we have very few trades and we want to maximize our returns. So this is the original strategy of the power zone from uh, Connor's research. And if we run a full back test, it's uh, beautiful. It's been making money since uh, forever. <laughs> so this is since 93. So since 93, we have uh, 2001. A loss and then 2018 19 and 20 so these are uh, so 2001 major crash 2008 it's a major crash but we made money and then of course march uh, which is uh, the covid also we lost money all in all though it's still very profitable it's making more than the s p 500 uh, returns over the same period which is around six percent so this one makes eight point four nine percent and the drawdown is 33 percent uh, compared to uh, more than 50 percent on the s p 500 already we're starting with a very robust strategy no filters no nothing already and already we are beating every single mutual fund based on any index and of course we're beating the s p 500 itself which we are trading so you already accomplished a lot. If you are a, <laughs> if you are in, working in a bank, just produce this uh, result and they will love you for it. Also, just to let you know that these are not optimized results. For example, I can make this 25. So 253 trades, 339. Still very profitable, very acceptable drawdown. Everything is good. And we can go on the opposite side, which is 35. It's even actually even better, much better. So you can see I didn't pick, uh, it's not the peak. And the changes I did, it's not small changes. The five on 30, that's 16% change also on, on 25. So that's a huge change for the strategy to be better at 35 and still very profitable at 25. That's extremely robust. Also, we can change the exit. So this is 55. And if we go 45, still very profitable. It's even better drawdown. And let's go 65. 
again very profitable and of course everything else in between will be profitable like 60. so again we are not picking the peak in fact if anything we are in the valley you should already drop your uh, buy and hold strategy and adopt this one but of course uh, we can always add a little bit to the strategy and make it much better and of course i'm going to show you how so here we are back at the original strategy and the first thing we are going to do is uh, probably you know this already i already use rsi2 most in most of my strategies so what happened if we change this to two and of course it's also a test of robustness as now i'm changing the look back period 50 percent it's actually it's much better a lot better actually and what if i go the other side again very profitable so you see now i change everything and greater than level period also very profitable up and down look back period up and down very profitable exit period up and down very profitable the strategy has two lines okay for entry one for entry one for exit it's extremely simple extremely robust anything you pick in between is already good so going back to the original strategy and i will just add and remember the rule for any filter you add it has to be significant so i just added the close greater than the sma of 200 and let's see so return to drawdown ratio is 3.69 and we're doing 324 trades and look at this it's uh, more than three and a half times now so it's definitely much much better strategy now yes we are making less money but don't worry about this we can always increase this with position sizing but this is what we care about also just to prove that this is not an optimized version i can do 100 so that's 50 percent change i'm still double better than the original strategy and i can go 400 which is double and again i'm doing much better so you can see that i'm doing huge changes on the parameters and i'm still actually most of the time i'm getting better profits than the original strategy really simple there is no need to do spp no need to do work for matrix analysis the i change the parameters up and down by more than 16 25 50 percent 200 percent and i'm still very profitable over all the parameters so i don't need to play anymore with the strategy i'm only going to give you the last tip which is how to trade the strategy obviously we saw that you know the any parameter you change is profitable so the professional way to do this is to trade all those parameters of course this will highly depend on your capital but since this is the spy that means you can buy one share so the current price let's say 400 that means if you have 10 systems you only need four thousand dollars to implement 10 systems so if you change the parameters let's say rsi2 rsi4 rsi6 look back period and greater than level 25 35 45 you basically you want to come up with i don't know four to eight systems uh, from uh, the these combinations that basically you cover all the bases and then you divide your capital on these now sometimes it, the trades will, will overlap so as you can see i build it in the algo wizard and send it to retester and i have rsi4 with uh, exit with a level of 30 exiting at 55 rsi4 uh, level 25 rsi2 level 25 rsi2 level 20. So I just picked four systems, made it in one portfolio, and this is the portfolio. And we can see these are the four systems, and this is the portfolio. And with the filter, we can see now that I am flat almost, and actually we can see it. And we can see I am flat in 2001, most of 2002, 2008, half of 2009, and April, May, August. 2020 and this is the correlation of the portfolio so this is based on daily and then rsi 225 and rsi 230 they are highly correlated which is very expected but the nice thing is the rsi 2 and rsi 4 they are not so much uh, they are only 0.57 uh, correlated so that's really good that means yes i do have overlapping trades of course you can see 
but it's not uh, i mean it's very doable and instead of increasing my uh, trade size on one system i can split it over now of course like i mentioned you can do this uh, on eight system ten systems you can really divide it and that's how the professionals and hedge funds do it they actually split on it and the nice thing like i mentioned because it's uh, an etf so you can really split it just one you can buy one share and sell one share really easy and when we look at the drawdown the drawdown this is the open drawdown so that means while i'm holding the account while i'm holding the trade what's my drawdown so that you can see this is the maximum 13 percent and 94 another 13 percent in 2011 and lately in march i am only around eight percent also very important is my exposure so my exposure is about 27 percent that means my annualized returns based on this exposure is about 46 percent which is huge uh, it just means that if you are trading the strategy full time let's say if you are uh, like buy and hold you're using the money all the time this translates to a 46 percent uh, return on your account of course you're not doing that but still that means you can easily combine this with another strategy to use the money to produce more return so there you go 80 percent winning rate 46 percent annualized return and 12 percent drawdown and remember to always combine a multiple iteration in a portfolio so four is the minimum but of course you can go to 10 uh, 12 uh, the more the better yes because you're covering the it's like a blanket you're covering everything as always i hope that i switch the light on to this strategy and hopefully you can make some money out of it and as always i'm open to any kind of question you can comment below or join the discussion at the discord server through the patreon link down below and as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon